What's up guys, this is iTechSpot here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now before we get started with this video, I just want to thank you guys for helping me reach 1000 subscribers and I wouldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you guys for liking and sharing my videos and also subscribing. So as you guys could tell with the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to theme your iOS device into an Android device. So this is very cool guys, I'm going to walk you through how to get this Android theme on your devices. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you guys want to do is head on to Cydia. Once you guys are in Cydia, you guys want to head on to Sources. Once you guys are in Sources, you want to tap on Edit, tap on Add on the top left. And you guys want to add two custom sources. So the first source is this one right here. So I'm going to put it in the video right here so you guys could see it on the video. And you guys could also check it out in the description box. So you guys want to add this source right here. Now I already have it so I'm not going to add the source. So once you guys have added the first source, you guys want to add the second one. So you guys want to head back to edit and add. And you guys want to put in this source. So once again, it will be in the description box and also on the video right here. So you guys want to input this source and you guys want to tap on add source. So I'm not going to add it once again since I already have it installed on my device. Alright, so once you guys have the two sources on your device, what you guys want to do is head on to the first source. So it is this one right here. You guys want to go inside of tweaks and you guys want to install Sidedown. So basically what this tweak does is that it gives you free tweaks straight from the main repo which is the big boss repository. So it is this one right here and it also gets them free from the modmyeye.com. Alrighty guys, so once you guys have Sidedown on your device, you guys are ready to install the tweaks for the Android theme. So what you guys want to do is head on to search and the first tweak you want to add is called Anchor. So you guys want to get the one that we added from the source, so it is the hackyouriphone.org source. So you guys want to get this one right here. So once you guys have this tweak right here, you guys want to tap on install, tap on install one more time and you want to tap on continue queuing. So now we're just going to head back into the search and we're going to get the next tweak which is app drawer. So we're going to type on app drawer right here. All right, so app drawer is paid, but since we have side down, we could just tap on the paid one right here and you guys could install it for free. So we're going to tap on install once again, tap on install and we're going to continue queuing. So we're just going to head back into the search. We're going to search for the next tweak. So the next tweak is called Anemone. So you guys want to type it in the search. So Anemone is right here. So you guys want to get this one right here. So it is free. So we're just going to tap on install. Tap on install one more time and continue queuing. All right. So we're going to head back into the search and we're going to get the next tweak. All right. So now we're going to search for iWidget. So it is this one right here. So we're just going to install it once again. All right. So now we're going to get an iWidget theme. So I'm going to use the M2 widget theme, so it is this one right here. Now you guys could use any iWidgets pack you want, so I am going to use this one right here. Alright, so once you guys have chosen the widget you guys want, you guys want to install the Android theme. So the Android theme is called Marshmallow, so it is this one right here, so Marshmallow iOS 9 Anemone theme. So you guys want to get the one that is only compatible with Anemone. If you guys get the other one, it will not work with Anemone, so you guys want to install the one that has anemone. All right, so now you guys want to search for the search widget. So we're going to use search widget 2015. So it is this one right here. Now, basically, this gives you the Google search tab on your device. So the last tweak you guys need is spring to my three. So we're just going to tap on install, tap on install one more time. So you guys want to make sure you guys are installing all of these tweaks right here. So I'm going to bring this camera up close. So you guys need to install all of these tweaks in order to have the Android theme. All right. So once you guys have all of these tweaks, you guys want to tap on confirm right here. And now it's basically going to download on side down. So now I already have downloaded all of these. So now I'm just going to tap on Q right here. And now I could start installing the tweaks onto my device right here. So we're just going to wait for my device to respring and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so my device has resprung. So what we're going to do is use the tweak anchor to move our tweaks anywhere where we want. So I'm just going to put my device into edit mode here. And I'm going to move all my tweaks down right here. So I'm going to move everything down and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so I move all my applications down right here. So now what you guys want to do is have a four by four grid right here. Other from the dock, you guys want to have a 4x4 application grid. Alright guys, so once you guys have your icons configured this way, what you guys want to do is hold on the blank space of your device, and you guys will activate iWidgets. 
Now I'm going to be using the M2 Weather, so this, this one right here. Now what you guys need is the Weather ID. So in order to get your Weather ID, you guys want to head onto Safari and you guys want to type in Yahoo Weather and your location. So I'm in Edmonton, so we're just going to tap on Go. So once you guys have tapped on Go, you guys want to enter the first link right here. Once you guys are here, what you guys want to do is tap on the link up here and you guys want to scroll all the way to the end. Now you guys will see this digits right here. So I have four digit code right there. So it is 8676. So you guys want to copy that code right there. And what you guys want to do is head back to iWidgets and go back to the M2 weather theme. And you guys want to add that code in right here. So once you guys have added the code, you guys could change the weather refresh to 15 minutes. And I'm going to change the units to Celsius right here. So once you guys have configured this, you guys want to tap on add. And you guys will have your widget right here. So I'm going to place it right here. And you guys have added the first widget. So once you guys have added the first widget, you guys want to add in the Google search widget. So you guys want to hold on the blank spot of your springboard once again. And you guys want to tap on the search widget. So you guys want to choose which one corresponds to your device. So I have an iPhone 6 right here. And we're going to turn on the OK Google functionality. And you just want to tap on add. And there's the Google search bar right here. So once you guys have your widgets on your device, you guys want to theme your device. You guys want to go into Anemone. So it is this application right here. So once you guys have Anemone launched, you guys will see it all right here. So you guys could see your Marshmallow iOS 9 theme. So you guys want to tap on it right here. You guys want to tap on enable. So now you guys want to check the ones you want. So I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to configure it like this. You guys could choose whatever you want on. So this is my setup right here. So once you guys have configured Anemone, you guys want to tap on apply. And you guys could see the preview right here. So you guys want to tap on apply once again and your device will respring. So I'll be right back once my device has resprung. Alrighty guys, so my device has resprung and as you guys could see here, I am running the new Marshmallow theme. So now what you guys wanna do is configure App Drawer. So what you guys wanna do is head on to Spring to Mice 3. Now you guys could access Spring to Mice 3 on the settings in your device, but you guys just wanna go into Spring to Mice 3 and you guys wanna go into Dock, scroll down into Icons, and change the number to 5. So now you guys want to respring your device right here. And you guys want to tap on respring. Alrighty guys, so my device has respring. So now we have more space on my dock. So what we are going to do is put in app drawer in the middle right here. And there we go. So now we have app drawer in the middle of our dock. So you guys want to tap on it right here. And this is your app drawer. Now you guys could configure this and you guys could add your favorite application. Now what you guys could do with app drawer is head on to settings right here. So once you guys are in settings, you guys could scroll down and configure app drawer. So once you guys are in app drawer, you guys could hide applications on your springboard. So you guys could click on it right here and you guys could check the applications you want to hide. So I'm going to hide one application right here. So we're going to hide Geekbench 3 right here. So what you guys want to do is head back and tap on reload springboard. So that's going to respring your device. All right, so as you guys could see here, Geekbench 3 is gone from my springboard right here. If you guys want to access that application, you guys could head back into apps and you guys could access Geekbench 3 right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Feel free to comment down below if you run into any problems. Also, don't forget to like and share this video since it helps out the channel so much and feel free to subscribe since I'll be posting videos just like these. Anyways guys, this is iTechSpot and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace!